Hey family, I'm back. I'm here with another informative reading, shall I say. It's 2023 and many of my butterflies out there, many of you are single, just like your sister. And that's okay. I believe in it's good to be alone and get to know you, enjoy you, focus on you, love you, make sure you're good mentally, emotionally, and spiritually before you move on to the next. Let me just say that. But why are you waiting? I want many of you to use spiritual discernment. What do you mean, Sister Q? Don't rush in a relationship. I get it. Nobody wants to be alone. And I don't want you to be alone. But I want you to use spiritual discernment that we all have. Start listening to that still voice family. Okay? It will not stir you wrong. Stop procrastinating when you meet someone. And a lot of times the red flags, they are there, even though they're trying to hide it. It shows up. But what do we do? Oh, what do we do? We brush it off. Oh, well, maybe that's not what it really is. Or, well, I did catch them in a lie, but, you know, we're starting off. So let me see what else. No, 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 no. See, that's a procrastinating. Your inner man is telling you. It's giving you heads up. Are you going to listen to it? Now, you're watching this re You're watching this video for a reason, okay? Maybe many of you are in loving, devoted, wonderful relationships, and I'm happy for you. But many of you are single, and this new year, I want you to use discernment so you will attract the right kind of people to you. And if you happen to meet somebody... You see any of these so-called qualities, okay? We see any of these so-called qualities that's going to be revealed here. Take heed. Take heed, please. And don't be turning the blind eye thinking, well, maybe I just misunderstood or maybe this, maybe that. Procrastinating. Whatever you're feeling in your gut, that's what it is. Okay? I just want many of you to start using spiritual discernment. And stop overly thinking. Whatever you're feeling, that's what it is. Now, let's get to this so-called quick reading, 2023. What are the signs, okay, that many of us should look for when we are dating someone new? Let's get with it. All right, beautiful family. I'm just changing it up. I will be back showing my old workstation. Just changing it up a little bit. So I'm going to start off. I have the Radiant deck that will let us know about those positive characteristics of an individual. And this is the Shadow deck. It reveals those shadow hidden dark characteristics about all of us, okay? Especially, you know, um, for many people who don't want to face their worst fears, their issues, as well as their um, worst fears. I think I said it already, but you know what I'm going with this. Um, it would show up here, okay? It would definitely show up here. Now, and I'm going to show you, so hold on. Now, I do what is called spiritual background readings. I do that for my blood, for my butterflies or for anyone who may, you know, wish to come to me. They, they met somebody new and, you know, they're not intuitively strong in that area to where they're operating uh, using good discernment, shall I say, as far as, you know, um, they want to know what is this person true, hidden, intentions towards them you know is it pure or not i can get those answers for them so many people do a background check and it's fine and dandy you know you can find out whether they you know um they uh or whether they married you know uh, whether they've been divorced or you know 
uh, whether they've been in the system before, you know, uh, having any charges. You can find all of that when you online and you can pay for these sites. But with Spirit, when I'm using this right here, the Spirit allows me to peel, peel through those layers of an individual, okay? And I would know your true intentions, especially if somebody was trying to approach me. I would know their true intentions. So I would know if this person is genuine or not. Now, before I get started, before I get started, um, what I would look for in an individual, okay, that would cross my path and want to get to know me, I would look for, is this person genuine? Are they transparent? Are they devoted? And just know that they might not meet all those qualifications, but I'm still looking for any one of these. Please know that. Are they family oriented? Because a lot of times you can meet a person that can be very controlling and they want you all to themselves. They don't, they don't even want to come around your family. Are they genuine, devoted, loyal, trustworthy, family oriented? You get what I'm going with this. It just depends on those qualities about individuals that, that means, you know, what does it mean to you as far as what would you like to have in a person, okay? But these main qualities are very important to me. Let me just say that. And if I don't see them in that individual, as well as if I see any of these dark aspects in an individual that they are still carrying, I won't give them the time of day because they'll be wasting my time. And a lot of times people like this can be holding you up and delaying you and keeping you from crossing paths with the person that is truly intended to cross, that is tended, that is truly intended to be in your life. Okay. A lot of times due to self self uh, sacrifice, you know, we hold ourselves up because we have not released the baggage as far as the individuals that's in our life that doesn't serve us. Or that we have attracted to us that's not for our highest good. Now, I'm going to let you know what I would expect out of an individual. I'm going to let the spirit do the talking. This is 2023. So, what are the signs to look for when dating someone new? What are the signs to look for when meeting someone new? Divine Spirit, what should a person look for when meeting somebody new? What should a person look for when meeting somebody new? Thank you, Spirit. I just said that. Patience. Transparent. Now, this is interesting. This says extroverted. It's up to you, family. But this is someone that wouldn't be hovering uh, all around you. This individual definitely give you space, okay, because they are extroverted. Now, if you like somebody to be a homebody, that's fine, too, what floats your boat. But notice what I say. I say transparent. That's somebody that's, you know, um, they're not hiding anything from you, okay, as well as you want somebody that's very patient. Divine Spirit, what's your person look for when you meet somebody new when dating them? What's your person look for when meeting somebody new when dating them? Mm, I like that. To each their own. And I like this because this individual doesn't want to be controlled. I know I don't want to be controlled. And neither will your partner. Let them be who they are. And try to control them. Thank you, spirit. Truthful. 
And yes, you want someone that's looking for someone that they can fall in love with, not waste your time. Not be with you for all the wrong reasons. Let me bring this down some. I apologize. Let me see. Can you see? All right. Let me turn these around. I'm going to turn these around. What should a person look for when meeting somebody new? Now, when the cards turn over, I will acknowledge them. Thank you, Spirit. Someone who's very active, meaning you don't want nobody lazy around you. You want somebody that's very active and caring. Let me move this over so you can see. We're not complete, but let me go over what I have here. I went this way, didn't I? Okay, I got here. Patient, truthful, and down here, it, hold on, let me show it. Truthful. Active, that means you're not with somebody that's lazy. In love, transparent, caring. Extroverted, diplomatic, filled with love. Free spirit, and yes indeed, I look. I definitely look for this devoted. When a, when you meet someone that's really devoted, this individual is very into you. Okay, they are devoted, and a person like this they ain't going nowhere. Okay, a person like this is going to put time in. A person like this is is investing in you. They are devoted. Someone who have a calm spirit. Now, these are just some suggestions from the spirit family, okay? But there are some key words that I look for. Someone is optimistic. The person you meet don't have to have all these qualities, but these are some of the things that you should look for. Helpful. That's right. They're helpful. They're doing their part. You know, they're not, you know, um, draining you dry. You know, they're doing their part. They're helping you. They're being a helpmate. Receptive. Yes, indeed. Loyal. So not only devoted, but loyal. That's right. Sensual. Encouraged. And who wouldn't want a partner like that to meet somebody like that? They are encouraged. This individual will keep you lifted up. You know, they believe in you and they will speak positively, you know, um, especially when things, you know, y'all might be in a situation to where you're going through some things, you know, they'll be the one that's trying to, you know, encourage, you know, both of you. Okay. They're trying to keep you encouraged. Instead of speaking all negative, 
Nah, that ain't gonna solve. That ain't gonna solve nothing. Let's continue real quick. Divine Spirit, what else should a person look for in meeting someone new when it comes to dating? What should they look for? Those main qualities in the individual. What should a person look for when meeting somebody new? Okay, these are turned over right here. Let me see anything else. I'm not going to make this video long. I'm just trying to give you some idea of when I do these kind of readings for people, they already know what they're looking at. So they're not walking into the situation blindly. You're you're ahead of the game. You already know what you're looking at already. You know things about them already ahead of time. Look at that. Generous. That's right. Hard working. That's somebody that's putting the work in. Very playful. Fit. This individual take care of themselves. They keep themselves up. Enthusiastic. Hmm. So anyway, these are just some ideas of what can come out in my readings, okay? I'm trying to give many of you some ideas of these are the things you should be looking for when you're meeting someone. But before you give them your heart, take your time. See, do, do they possess any of these qualities? Uh, they can fake it. Oh, please, no. People can put a mask on. They can fake it for so long. But you know, like I know, when you get to know a person, they true nature come out. Empowered. Excuse me, empowered. Musical. I know I love music. Now, this would be if you have this in common with the individual, okay? But anyway, someone that loves music. Because music definitely soothes the soul. Please know that. Someone who's determined. They're very determined. Now, I know if we saw extroverted, then we saw introverted. This is pretty much, you know, due to one's choice of what they want. Because some ladies want their man at home, okay? Each their own. Confident. Awaken. Happy. Healthy, motivated, abundant, I like this, I like this, healed, you see this, this is someone like many of us that has healed from their past issues, past relationships. They put the work in. They release the baggage of the past, of pain, hurt, disappointment. This person is operating forgiveness and they have moved on. This individual has released and they are moving forward. They're not bringing the baggage on to the next relationship. Healed. Analytical. Oh, I like this one. Invested. Now, I'm sure more can come out, but I don't want to make this video that long. The Spirit was giving us some good, you know, keywords to look for when meeting someone new. But one must take their time to get to know an individual, okay? And it comes with being patient. And remember, we saw the word patient. 
So these are some of the qualities that you should look for. Now I put all this back in. Let me see if we're going to come back out again real quick. Divine Spirit, what are the qualities that a person should look for when meeting somebody new? What are some of the qualities a person should look for when meeting somebody new? What are some of the qualities a person should look for when meeting somebody new? Thank you, Spirit. Ooh. Okay, I think I'm going to stop right here. I'm just trying to give you some examples, okay? Okay. Let's see what come back out. But, you know, but you get the point. You get the point. And none of this is my opinion, but I did let you know what I look for. It don't have to be all those qualities, but I need. I better see something. I better see some of them qualities there in that individual. Because if, it, if it's not there, they're wasting my time. And they're wasting your time, too. Leader. Someone who has leadership qualities. Someone who's balanced mentally, emotionally, spiritually. Someone who's nurturing. Contemplative. Someone who's open. Forgiven. Detoxing. This individual right here. I like this. I like this individual. Detoxing. This is someone that doesn't do a whole lot of lip service when it comes to that word, I love you. And I know us women love to hear it. But a lot of times we're hearing it and we're not seeing it in their actions. This person is showing you they love you in their actions. And this is what matters to me. Gentle. Assertive. Generous. Analytical, introverted, hardworking, patience, friendly, transforming. So anyway, you get what I'm going with this. Now. The shadow aspects. That's right. The shadow aspects. Divine, divine spirit, what should a person, what, when a person is meeting someone new and they're dating them, what are the signs they should look for? That's a red flag. Divine spirit, what are the red flag signs to look for in a person when it comes to those shadow aspects of them? That a person needs to run. Someone who's full of this, grief. A person is full of grief is holding on to something, okay? It just depends on what this means as far as what's going on with this individual, okay? Someone who's withdrawn. Red flag. Someone who cares a grudge. Red flag. Someone who's very lustful. Red flag. Someone who operate, well, I'm not going to say operate, but they are numbness. This individual right here, what they would do is um, they, this is someone that uh, shuts down and they don't want to share their thoughts nor feelings, shall I say. This individual right here would self-medicate, okay? They would self-medicate with drugs or alcohol. And it also can be sex. Okay? Numbness. Someone, someone who sees themselves as awkward. Rebellious. And let me say this. This doesn't really have to be really a bad thing. Let me say that. But it's good to meet someone that feels good about themselves, okay? Um, but a lot of time, a person like this, um, they don't really see how they know. 
they don't really see how the good qualities in themselves, okay? They, they, they probably are, are insecure as well. Let me just say that, okay? Ryan Spear, what are some of those red flags, shadow aspects of an individual, a person you can look at? Ooh, I know that's right. I know that's right. Look at that, abuse. You got verbal abuse. You got physical abuse. Abuse of power. This is definitely a red flag. Someone who talks down on you. That's still abuse. When you're trying to talk to a person that, that's so defensive. Have you ever tried to talk to somebody and it's like, oh, they come out so defensive. You know why they like that? Because they got something to hide. They got something to hide. That's right. So they, instead of them just uh, give you the answer that you are seeking, they're very defensive. If you have nothing to hide, why are you so defensive? Someone is conflicted. This is someone who has mixed feelings. I'm letting the spirit do the talking, okay? Someone who is biased. Someone who is bitterness. People like this, when you cross them wrong, people like this will uh, get, get you back, okay? People like this, a lot of times they want revenge. They're very bitter. What are some other red flags a person needs to know when they're meeting somebody new? What are some other red flags a person needs to know when they're dating, meeting somebody new? What should they look for, divine spirit? Some other shadow red flags when meeting somebody new. Whoa, my goodness. <sighs> <sighs> Denial. Especially when you call somebody out. You know, it's like they can't see what you see. Okay? It's like they're in denial. A drunk. Shame. Accusations. Somebody accusing you of, a time person doing a whole lot of accusing you of something, a lot of time, you know, think about, okay, hold up now. I'm not, I'm not doing the thing. So what are you doing? A lot of time, a person like this is guilty. Okay. They're, they're full of guilt because look at this. Shame. In, look at that. Shame. Shame. This individual feels shame due to what they're doing behind the scenes. Okay. And then they got accusation, accusing about a wrongdoing, you know. You meet someone that you start off dating, and all of a sudden there's a whole lot of accusations going on already. What are they doing behind the scenes? Domineering control freak. Addictions. And if I meet somebody and I read I'm being accused of uh messing around, you know, and knowing I'm not doing anything, uh that would turn me off. That would really turn me out, Kyle. When you're in a, in a dating phase, that's what you're doing. You're trying to get to know that individual. I don't, I don't want nobody really questioning me like that anyway. They don't control me. <coughs> I know I don't like to be controlled. What about you, family? All right, Spirit, what are some other red flags? Person should look forward and meet somebody new. Antagonist. Oh my goodness, empty. A person, a person, you know, if you meet somebody and you find out, you know, um, a person like this can be very depressed. And family, it's really not good to get involved with people who are, you know, you meeting them and, you know, and if you're going to be just friends with them, that's fine. But you're trying to date somebody and they are experiencing like deep, deep, deep depression. They can be feeling like this. And a lot of times, their problems end up being your problems. You know, sometimes people, they can weigh you down because you're trying to lift them up and they are and they are draining you, okay? But anyway, a person like this just feels, you know, helpless, you know, um, 
They don't feel good about themselves. Uh, they have a fear-based thoughts. You get them going with this. A person like this is not in a good place at all. And if you are someone of very high vibrational, high vibrational, and you love yourself, you really shouldn't attract nobody like this to tell you the truth. And you can be a friend, you can be a friend to a person like this, but try, but as far as you know, you started out meeting somebody like this, you know, a lot of times how you meet them now, you know, y'all might end up getting over the hump. You know, you might end up helping that person and getting them over the hump, but you know, this is a shallow aspect of an individual. And you start off meeting them like that. I mean, I, I wouldn't suggest you try to get involved with nobody that's in this space. They need to heal. Okay, that's the point I'm trying to make. A person like this needs to heal. So I wouldn't suggest nobody trying to meet someone new and a person like this cross your path and they're feeling like this. Because see, a person like this, you know, they're not in a good place, but when they get with you, you know, all of a sudden, if they cheer up, it's because they met you. But this individual needs to try to find their own happiness before they even meet you. You get what I'm going with this? You know, this, this person right here needs to heal or whatever is going on with them. Now, not look to you for the answers. Okay? I'm going to go one more time. Divine Spirit, what are those shadow aspects of an individual? That's a red flag. That's a red flag. I'm just trying to give you some examples. I, I let the cards fall out because the spirit is doing the talking, okay? Someone like to argue. You can't say nothing to them. They disagree with everything you're saying. Disagreeable. Someone who has abandonment issues. A person like this family can be very domineering okay so watch out for people who have abandonment issues especially if they have not healed you have to heal from it okay if you don't you'll carry that baggage on to the next relationship being controlling temptation you're very tempted i already said that disagreeable someone who sabotage a relationship Due to their negative actions, you know, they act like they're so into you, but they are self-sabotaging the relationship due to their actions. You know, how, how do you say it? They say one thing, but they're doing another. Sabotage. Gossip. Draining you. Ambulance. This is also someone who has mixed feelings. So basically, don't try to get involved with nobody that you just met who is uh, who's getting over um a relationship. Give them time to heal. A lot of times we as women, we don't do that. We like them. We know that they're that they have actually gotten out of the relationship. So you try to talk to them, be their friend, but then your heart get involved. No. Don't get involved with no one who just entered out of a relationship. Give them time. A real, if you're a real friend to them, give them time to heal, okay? Because you're going in with your eyes open, and that's self, and that's self sabotage on your part because you went in with your eyes open. Give that person time to heal, so they can release that baggage, forgive and release the, the past. I'm gonna put all this back in. I'm gonna reshuffle. But I'm gonna end this reading. Divine Spirit, what are those shadow aspects a person need to look for when meeting somebody dating? What are, the, what are the red flags? What are the red flags when it comes to people meeting each other? They need to look for. What are the red flags? What are the red flags? What are the red flags a person you can look for when meeting somebody new? All the red flags. And meeting somebody new. All right, I'm getting ready to stop. But you you get the idea of family, don't you? And when I'm doing this reading on an individual, I have to see the picture because the eyes are the to our soul. And all I would need is a first name. But you get them going with this. 
you you would see what you're dealing with, and it would be your choice if you want to move forward in that relationship. But many of you, you have your own intuition. Just listen to that still voice. It would not stir you wrong. And if you see any of these starting off in a relationship, okay, he the sign. He the sign. He did. So one that comes off as a victim. They carry that victim consciousness about them. You know, it's everybody else instead of them looking at themselves, okay? A person like this, they'll never think about what they're doing, but it's always what somebody's doing to them. Someone come up with that victim consciousness. Guilt. Aloof. Someone that's very distant, like... A person like this is hard to figure out because they're not open. Someone that's antisocial. Watch out for this. Betrayal. You can't trust them in the little things. <laughs> How can you trust them in a... Someone full of deception. They're very secretive. Someone is very flight, flighty. They're, they're very easily to get upset. A cold individual. Someone is very jealous. Ladies, this is not cute at all. Oh, he's so jealous. Oh, he always, you know, um, watching me when I'm on my phone, when I'm texting. He, he, he. Yeah. Okay. You're dealing with that control freak, and it's going to get worse and worse. Confusion. If you and this individual are on one accord, there shouldn't be no confusion. Okay. You should know where you stand with this individual. Confusion. Grief. If someone have me feeling like this and I'm in that relationship, I'm going to run. Okay? It shouldn't be like this. You were an individual. This represents complacency, unaware of danger. So this lets me know that you were someone that can could harm you. Okay? This individual can be get very upset and snap. I think about it just a matter of time. This is someone who's unaware of danger. You are someone that's very dangerous. That can easily snap on you. And don't let this come out. Held hostage. This is someone that can trap you. Okay? Uh, I think about they can put you in a situation. Um, I think about someone feeling trapped. Um, someone... That's an environment they don't want to be in. Okay. This person can have you feel like that. Eventually. When you, when you finally see their true nature. Shall I say. Held hostage. I don't think so. Rejection. Some people. Don't take this very well. Okay. They don't respect the word no. Ignorance. So anyway, these were some, you know, clues to look for, or should I say signs to look for. When you are starting this year off, family, really these are the clues you should look for, period, okay? But I'm just saying for this new year, okay, many of you have to be single. And if, you, and if you're taking the time, you're not looking, that's fine. But if you happen to be, you know, out, out and about and somebody might cross your path, and of course, you know, you're, you're attracted to them, okay? Um, please heed the signs, family, okay? A lot of times they're there in your face, but you choose to turn a blind eye to it, thinking, oh, well, you know, that's minor, you know, that's not so bad, you know, and then uh, another sign, a little, another little sign, you know, uh, come across that, that little crow I'm trying to warn you and you're overlooking it. Stop overlooking it, family. Please go by your gut instinct. Okay, please. Hello, somebody. Please. I'm tired of doing these so-called, you know, crime readings. You know, a lot of times people are talking about kind of individuals to them. But we can't protect ourselves when we're operating using our intuition. And if your intuition is not that strong, seek out people that can help you to where, you know, you the one in control because you already know what you're looking at, okay? 
you know, uh, you have already some idea of the characteristic about this individual and it can protect you. And then it, and it also is your choice if you want to pursue that relationship. But at least you are a step ahead. You know what you're looking at. But I still advise you to pay attention to the signs. If it's telling you to run like hell, or if it's telling you, you know, uh, no, let let the, let let that person pass. That's not the one for you, okay? Remember these key words that came out here, okay? Remember them. Got the spirit be on it, and then I know if it, if it protects me, and then, and and if these key, if, if when the spirit is using me, and I'm trying to help others, and it's protecting them, it will protect you also, okay, family? But we have to, you know, stop procrastinating and heed the spirit. Stop procrastinating and heed the spirit. Disagreeable. And everybody disagree. Don't get me wrong. No relationship is perfect. But you don't want to, you know, when you meet somebody and y'all can't, you know, you just constantly, you know, conflict. You, you know, you can't agree on anything. You say something to a person and, and you know, you say one thing. You say red, they say green. You say three, they say four. It's like you can't agree on anything. Lustful. This is the one who can't control the flesh. So you know it's going to be some cheating. You know it's going to be some cheating. Come on now. Drunk. And if you like to drink, fine. You want to be somebody, you know, y'all got that in common, fine. But, hey. Empty. I love you. Be safe. And be mindful how you're moving out here in these streets when you are meeting people. Okay? Please start using spiritual discernment that we all have, okay? Nobody is without spiritual discernment. We just don't listen to it. Peace and love to you and bye for now. And if you want to, you know, I mean, if you want to read it with your sister, check out my About Me section and you can see all the reasons that I offer and their prices. But other than that, you know, you, you got the message. You got the message. Just heed it, okay? And I say that with love. Peace.